under 90 yards. Uh, J-Lo, as you like to say, Please. Drew. Thank you, Wiles. Uh, now leads the league in both touchdowns and interceptions. Kind of an odd, uh, odd trophy to have there, I would say. Uh, last season, he had 32 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Here he's got eight. So is this something or nothing, Drew? I don't think it's anything. Um, look, he does have, and I know people in Green Bay are comparing him to Brett Favre. He does have some far in He's a little reckless at times with the football, as you see from the interceptions. But obviously, he's great in terms of throwing these touchdowns. Those 15 touchdowns, which are tied with Baker Mayfield, as you said, for the lead, that's in five games. Baker's played six. Mm -hmm. Most other guys have played six or seven games. So he is um, – I, I think he's playing well. I think it's nothing. I think he's going to continue to get better and not throw the interceptions. But, yeah, with that team, with the run game, with the receivers they have, I don't think it's anything. I definitely think it's something. Obviously, he's been great when you just look at one side of it, touchdown, machine, uh, getting the offense, opening up playbook, getting everyone involved. But it's also something with the interceptions. And we can gloss over it all we want to, but it, it's what bit them last playoff season. And right. it almost killed them yesterday like, in the game their defense played perfect. And it killed them against the Vikings. Like, and so, like, we, it's, it's great when you, find, when you still find a way to win. And he's been playing good enough to where they can still be in position to win. But th it all is something. The 15 touchdowns, the eight interceptions, it's all something to watch. All right, so a couple things. One is I thought Greg Rosenthal of the NFL Network made this point, and he's exactly right. The Packer fans that are like, oh, no, might have another Favre on our hands are out of their minds. If you, if Jordan Love, if you could right now press a button and be like, he's Brett Favre on the field, take uh, go ahead and take it. Take uh, it. One of the 10 greatest quarterbacks ever, go to a couple Super Bowls, won a bunch of MVPs. So, and by the way, for the people that don't love the Chiefs being boring, it's an exciting quarterback too. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. And so again, just on the field, you take it. And also, shout out to some of the kind of football nerds that I listened to all summer that were super high on this Jeff Halfley character from Boston College, mm. who they hired to take over as defensive yeah. coordinator. He's been awesome. Right. Yes, and the Green Bay defense has instantly, which White Wilds out. almost punched me in the face last year because I true. said the Green Bay defense wasn't good. Yeah, that's exactly. It was a real fight last Last year, but they weren't. Yes. Yes. But this year they are. <laughs> I almost did that thing. Um, with all that said, KW. Thank you. Thank you. Some sanity here. Thank you. One of the NFC North teams is going to miss the playoffs entirely. I know everyone's like, oh, it's going to be the Bears. It's going to be don't the think, Bears. Okay, maybe. I don't think it's going to be the Bears because, as you very begrudgingly acknowledged the other day, um, they don't play good teams except for the division that's games. True. And so that's the benefit of the schedule and how it fell and all of it. And their tough game against Washington maybe isn't as tough right. because Jaden Daniels, God love him, had a hit in the ribs. He was dealing with an oblique or something like I am right now. It's tough for us skinny guys, man, to get hit in the ribs. Right. Um, <laughs> and so I was concerned by some of this game from Jordan's perspective because CJ and the Texans offense could get nothing going. So just don't turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. well, he and he's it. still, you know what I mean? He's still, he's taking risks, man. And that's who, by the way, he had a turnover problem first nine games of last year. And then the and middle then nine games, he run. had like 22 touchdowns, one, one pick yeah. or something. Yep. And then so it's something to watch. Yes. You agree, KW? Correct. That is the correct take. Thank you. Uh, Bengals <laughs> took care of the Browns, <laughs> who lost to Sean Watson for the year with an Achilles. Joe Burrow. Has his first two-game win streak of the year. Uh, who are they against, you may ask? Well, here's the Bengals' wins. The teams don't score a lot of points, but the Browns have a pretty good defense. Wasn't the, and wasn't it that Joe Burrow can't beat the Browns? Well, yeah. But this is just this year. And Burrow got, I think it's his second win all time against the Browns. Uh, so, Greg, we'll start with you. Something or nothing here. Oh, God, I'm going to start a pot here. Wow, this is something and nothing. Oh. oh, man. See, that's why we can't do the pops. Yeah. This is something and nothing. <laughs> look, it's something because when you look at them getting their second win, it's important for them to even have a chance. Just get wins. Moving forward. Just stack wins. Do as much as you can. And then it's nothing because it was against the Browns. Well, sure. Can I get combo. So, Brew, so here's what's I didn't think you perplexing to me about the Bengals. Switch it up a little bit. They, they refuse to play well on both sides of the ball in the same game. Right. Yeah. So the first five games of the year, 
The offense, well, no. First game against the Patriots, everything was bad. Yes. That's the only way you can lose the Patriots. It's, everything's bad. <laughs> um, the, ne the next four games, offense awesome, defense terrible. The last two games, offense has been bad. Yes. Like, I know if people didn't watch this game, and why would you? It's 21-14, but they had an opening kickoff return touchdown. Yeah. So, they often scored two touchdowns in a game. The Browns went to three quarterbacks and were very Brownsy the whole time. So, I, the, I, I think the Bengals are a legitimate playoff threat in theory because we've now seen two weeks of the defense showing a pulse. But you'd I understand the teams have been awful. Yeah, I mean, but you you'd like to see the team play well on both sides of the ball once before the midway point of the season and we're yet to see that. Yeah, I actually agree with Greg. It's something in just that now at three and four, they're, you know, in the hunt, so to speak, for the playoffs. But it's nothing because they haven't been the least bit impressive. If they don't get that kickoff return on, at the start of the game, and then honestly, and then you don't, want, I don't, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Obviously, fans in Cleveland feel different. But if Jameis Winston plays most of that game, Cleveland might win that thing. Like I, I don't. They went to the the young kid. Well, they DTR. had to because Jameis was the emergency third quarterback. In, so they inexplicably. Could, yeah, they couldn't. But yeah, then DTR that, got hurt. So. So yeah. Um. I, I just think they haven't been impressive in these last two wins. So they're not playing but, and, well, and I, I I don't think they're gonna. Philly, end up Vegas well. for Cincy, and then Baltimore Chargers, Steelers. Yeah, that's a wrap. I mean, well, you've had them done. Since All they year. lost to the worst team I in the I understand. NFL. They're going Week to make one. the playoffs, Wilds. Nope. Okay. Uh, Saquon's revenge game did not disappoint. He had 187 yards from scrimmage, while the Giants team had 119 total. And Greg's guy, Danny Dimes, got benched. Looking for a spark. The old looking for a spark from Brian Dayball. Not good. Uh, Saquon's numbers yesterday, pretty, pretty good. Second most... Uh, rushing yards in any game and then he actually took his foot off the gas so other players on the Eagles could eat against the Giants defense that's nice uh, so brew the Eagles blow out something or nothing I think it's something this is the type of win that could end a supernatural funk oh, I mean how many God. times is this every thing? time it's you like say, every week you you're said saying no I'm not saying that. New Orleans I said no. it was not a good no. I said they had one good win this year and that was green but after that the night. you said it's the like funk's every, over yeah I, I will our remember first saying show, our again. first show the, this is the type the, it's a feel-good win this is the type first of all I, I gotta say this about Nick Sirianni not force feeding uh, Saquon at the goal line. Saquon could have had three touchdowns. Yeah. I thought that actually showed some rare restraint from Sirianni where we're just going to win this game. It's not about, you know, getting a certain guy going. And obviously Saquon was great. Everybody felt great about Saquon having such a great game yeah. against the Giants. This is the type of win that eliminates a funk. Is the funk They win? haven't given up a Hold defensive – they, they have over. not given – The funk is over. They have oh. not given up a touchdown – and all, a defense, defense hasn't given up a touchdown in two weeks. Again, the Giants. So, the, still, you play who's on the schedule. You do. This is, this is definitely something. Uh, it was impressive the way that they won in this game against the Giants, who the, the Dallas Cowboys struggled against, the Commanders struggled against. So, when you look at it from a division standpoint, yep. it feels really okay. good. Um, also – Anytime you get to stick it to your old team and Saquon has the day he had, I mean, every player who's ever played for a team that has to play that team wishes they could have had this type of performance. It's definitely something. All right. So listen, if Saquon continues to prove my offseason take about him. This is my worst take of the offseason. He's been outstanding. Absolutely. Uh, Derek Henry's take was not that great either. Uh, we'll see. Cowboys oh, take. We'll what see. was the take? We'll see. We'll see. Derek but Henry, I want to talk about the more important thing. That was, a good, that we'll was not a good take. We'll, we'll, the Cowboys, we'll that wasn't good. We'll, right. we'll see about all those. Stop. We will see about all of them. <laughs> Mark them down, bro. We'll, oh, let, 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 we'll see about all yeah. those, but the Saquon one. But more importantly, <laughs> if you live in the greater Minneapolis area, mm -hmm. and your friends or family with Greg Jennings, Monday night, if you could do a wellness check or send some baked goods to his house or whatever. No. Because I think he's Monday night, he's going to be watching Daniel Jones' final start as a New York Giant oh, quarterback, wow. and it's going to be fun. tough for you. Because he has that injury guarantee. Dave will already, already pre-benched him. They play the Steelers. It's going to go bad. It's national TV. And then after that, it's going to be Drew Locke. 
So you Monday night down to say that I, yeah, I'm just true. I'm just letting you know I'm going to be OK. I, I don't know that you're going to be OK. <laughs> and so if you could just check in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll just check, check in on it. I'll check. Don't I'll check, in on, check, check in, in on it, guys. I'm going to face it. <laughs> I'll be under 90 yards. Uh, J-Lo, as you like to say, Please. Drew, thank you. Uh, now leads the league in both touchdowns and interceptions. Kind of an odd. Uh, a trophy to have there, I would say. Uh, last season, he had 32 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. He already's got eight. So is this something or nothing, bro? I don't think it's anything. Um, look, he does have, and I know people in Green Bay are comparing him to Brett Favre. He does have some Favre in it. He's a little reckless at times with the football, as you see from the interceptions. But obviously, he's great in terms of throwing these touchdowns. Those 15.